Hi everyone and welcome to my new tutorial on um, creating a fiery hand effect. This was a video request by HeroesFan129, um, how to create a fiery human torch hand effect. So the final product looks like this. It's not extremely impressive so I've changed up some of the steps to make it look better. So I'm putting the link to this tutorial in the description and it also has spots where you can download the picture of the hand and the fire but I have my own picture of fire um, for this because I didn't like the kind of fire they were using so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, what we're gonna do is say file new and create an image by 640 by 480 and uh, black background and then you're gonna say open as layers and this is important because you're gonna have a couple things that you want to bring in you have uh, the fire image which is my fireball in Im image and the hand that uh, you can get from the link that I'm providing and you bring them into the window like this and uh, as you can see they're put as layers but what we're gonna wanna do is open up the layers dialog which um, this is one of the downsides of GIMP is that it, it hides so you're gonna wanna go to windows dockable dialogs and say layers and uh, pull that out so um, right here you can see you have your hand layer and your fire layer and uh, let's just move this over here and get out of the way let's select our hand layer and we're gonna move that down to the bottom here um, and I'm just gonna do a really quick arrangement here just so you can get a hang of of what I'm doing so you're gonna move the hand layer underneath the fireball layer by clicking this little arrow and uh, select the fireball layer and you're gonna wanna arrange it over the hand like so and just so you can see, let's bring the opacity down just so we can see we're replacing this thing. We're going to say scale, and we're going to blow it up bigger. And we want it to kind of envelop the hand a little bit. Um, so we're just going to stretch this the way we want it. Okay, I think we're getting close to where we want it to be. And say scale, and it's going to go back to the opacity again that we wanted. And then we'll just move it down over the hand to a way that that looks kind of cool like the hand is creating the fire um, so now that that's done let's um, open up our layers again um, so we shall bring the opacity back up um, but first we're going to want to turn off the fire layer and we want to do a couple things with the the hand layer because um, that's what's going to sell the effect the fire looks real already because it is real so we're going to want to do a couple things to this hand image to make it look a little more realistic. So we're going to zoom in on the hand and uh, I'm going to do a really quick masking on this. So what you're going to want to do is select the lasso masking tool. Make sure feather edges is selected and have about a radius of 4.5 for this image. And I'm just going to do a really quick uh, drawing on the hand here. When you do this you can do a much better more detailed drawing um, but I'm just gonna do it quickly just for the tutorial and it's not a good mask at all it's very rigid okay and we're gonna say select invert so we can invert the selection uh, let's just zoom out so we can see what we're doing um, I'm gonna select the eraser tool and erase around the hand and uh, oops I accidentally erased on the fire layer so let's say undo eraser make sure your hand layer is selected and erase around the hand and as you can see I did a very poor mask job but that's just for the tutorial so okay now we're gonna say uh, select none get rid of that mask now what we're gonna do is um, go ahead and make this look like the hand is producing the fire so probably the best thing you're gonna do is put the fireball on screen which is very important to make it look like uh, the fire's transparent, which it always is. But to give a little more effect to the hand, we're going to select the background layer. We're going to go over here to gradients, select the gradients, and for the main color, we're going to select kind of a brownish red. So in the red, it's going to be right around this area here. Select OK, and then black for the background. Uh, make sure it's a radial shape, uh, offset 0, and a linear gradient and then right when you click the center of where you click is going to be the center of the glow and then however far out you pull it is going to be how far the glow is going to look so you've got that and now you can see 
there is a glow effect behind the hand. Now to make that show through, we're going to select the hand layer, and we're going to say, let's try addition. And that brings that color right through. So now the hand is kind of glowing a little bit. There's this little red color back here, and the fire is showing up pretty good. But there's a couple other things we can do to sell this effect. Let's turn off our fire layer just so we can adjust the colors of the hand itself. And we're going to zoom in closer. Now back to my very awesome masking job. Um, we can just add to the effect and make it look great. So uh, we're going to bring up the reds a little bit. Make sure mid-tones is selected. Bring up some of the reds. Um, bring down some of these towards the yellow. And you get this kind of yellowish look that you'd get from fire. Maybe bring down the reds just a little bit. And that's about right. So when we turn on the fire again, it kind of matches the colors together. So what we're going to do next is we're going to duplicate the fire layer. And this is what I like to do because it's going to give a better effect to the hand. So we're going to put this on soft light. And what that does is kind of adds a little bit of the fire texture to the hand. And the reason this is important is so that we can make it look like the hand is producing the fire. It's going to bring out some of those colors around the fingers a little bit more so that you're going to get that kind of glow effect. When you turn on the fire again, it makes the hand blend in a little more with the fire, which isn't really what we want. So we're going to fix that right now. I'm going to zoom in on the fingers, and this is an important step. You see these darker spots in the fire? Fire has kind of these little liney parts in here that are very important to sell the effect. So what you're going to want to do to make it look like the hand is producing the fire is erase a little bit. Now you can see our eraser is a little bit too big, so I'm going to drop that size down, and that's about where we want it, and zoom in a lot closer. And so these kind of darker, redder areas, I'm going to just erase them, but I have to make sure I have the right layer selected. So we're going to select the top layer, which is this one here, and you're going to start erasing. Now what does this do? Well, it's going to create this effect that makes it look as though fire is wisping off the fingers. So it's going to make it look like the hands are producing the fire. So just erase a little bit of that. And let's zoom out a little bit. Wow, that's a lot more than a little bit. And uh, there's that. So you can see how it looks like the, the fire is arcing on the fingers. And that's exactly what we want. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing here, just really quickly brush through it. Just take your time with this process. The more time you spend on it, the better it's going to come out looking. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Now just to make those transitions blend in a little better, because I'm not really taking my time on this, I'm just going to bring up my brush size a little bit and make them look softer. Kind of erase some of the flame at the heel of the hand. Okay. Now, I think that's pretty much the way we want it. There's a lot of other things you can do to make this effect look even better. But that's all I'm going to do for now. Um, except for one thing. You can create a new layer. Let's go in here, uh, file. Um, actually, no, I'll just duplicate the hand layer. Say duplicate layer. And we're going to um, bring up some of these brightness values. So let's select white for our color. Um, and we're going to start drawing on the fingers just a little bit to give them kind of a glowy look. All right. Just like that. A little bit on the knuckle. And then we're going to take our eraser and erase the back of the hand. So we just want the fingers to look like they're producing some of the fire. All right. So now what we're going to do is take this and say... Let's try dodge. Dodge looks good. All right, so what we get is kind of this hard light effect. So now we're going to say filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're going to bring up Gaussian blur to, let's try 20 for now, and say OK. And that's exactly the way I want it. So it makes it look like the fingers are like creating the heat. And that's about where I'm going to stop. So now we have this image. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful and uh, post any comments, questions, or suggestions in the comments below.